All right, folks, what is going on? This is episode 390 of the First and Frame Rate Show. I am VF Baller, and happy Thursday to everybody. Hopefully, you guys are having a great one. Uh, over here, we talk about Georgia Southern and Atlanta Falcons football. Episode 390, we're 10 away from 400, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, so thanks to you guys, this, this show just keep going. And we're going to keep it rolling. I enjoy doing the shows, and I'm glad you guys always come through to listen. If this is your first time here, welcome. I am on YouTube and Rumble, so you can watch the show. If you just want to listen to the show, I'm on Anchor, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts. We talk about George Southern and Atlanta Falcons football, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to talk about both teams. And I know you probably looked at the title and was like, all right, this guy's crazy. don't know what he's talking about. And to be honest, I don't know. I know what I'm talking about, but I don't know how this could possibly happen because anything can happen when you go out there and play football or whatever the case may be. So we're going to ask, what if Georgia Southern and the Atlanta Falcons produce double digit wins? What does that mean for each team? What does that mean for the Georgia Southern program? What does that mean for the Atlanta Falcons? And what does that mean for the state of Georgia in general? Because you also got to understand there's a team up there in Athens that are probably going to get double-digit wins as well. So what does that mean? So we're going to get into all three of those phases, and we're going to, um, you know, just share thoughts and ideas. So let's go ahead and get into it. it will be easy for me to talk about George Southern first because, um, I, you know, that I usually talk about George Southern first. And for the most part, you know, uh, you know, for the most part, I've just been talking about them, you know, all the time. And it's just so exciting to see what they're doing in Statesboro. But I'm going to back up a little bit, and I want to talk about the Atlanta Falcons. And what if what do that happens if they get 10 or more wins? Um, Can Arthur Smith and them make that happen? I would not be surprised if it happened, to be honest. Uh, do I think it could happen? Who goodness, that's going to be a tough one. Probably gut feeling it doesn't happen, but I can see the potential there. I mean, their schedule is is rough. It's a pretty rough schedule. But if you put everything together and you play football the right way, it's possible. Uh, I just don't know. It would be a huge turnaround. I would tell you that much because you got to understand, I mean, we had four losing seasons prior to Coach Smith coming here. And then Coach Smith comes in and go 7-10, and 10, which didn't think that was going to happen. But it, it has happened. And it gives us a lot of hope for the Falcons. What could possibly happen with this team, with this team having more uh, Coach Arthur Smith style, implement it because our quarterback the old quarterback we had matt ryan he's not there no more you know we don't have the same receivers we had um you know for the most part it's just a whole pretty much almost a whole different team now so if they could pull it off that would be coach of the year status for coach smith and there's no denying that I, I think he gets coach of the year if he does it because he turned around this you know this program i don't want to say program because it's a franchise turned them around from pretty much like almost bottom of the barrel of the SC, um, of the NFC South. And if you get double digit wins, you 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 may be in the running for the divisional title. I don't see it happening cuz Tampa Bay is still there, but it's possible. I'm not going to go down the entire roster, I mean not the roster, but the entire schedule and say this is a win, this is a loss. I just want to know like what do you think like the city of Atlanta if the Falcons end up winning like 10 or more games and actually have a uh, you know a shot at a playoff spot that would be pretty cool the city of atlanta would love that i I mean we loved it when they were you know they had the super bowl run loved it when you know the 2012 season um so just for them to be so close and for every single time or in some cases people say that the falcons choked and you know i don't like to use that but that's what people say it would be it would be exciting i know a lot of people be on edge because they think that the falcons let them down again but that's just a part of sports, man. You just have to be on it and support your team through the ups and downs and the rounds and rounds. And don't get me wrong, it's sometimes when these Falcons, they made some decisions before, you know, Arthur Smith and, and Terry Fano got there. They made some decisions that I didn't like. And I was like, man, what, you know, what was the GM and what was the coach back then, what they were thinking? And uh, it, it just hasn't, you know, uh, worked out that the, the decision they made. So we got a new coach in coach Arthur Smith is in and I think he's going to keep this team on the straight and narrow keep him on the right path so that's always a good sign you know when you have a coach in the transition because when they're transitioning they are uh able to see the talent 
they're, they're, they're able to see what they have and what they don't have. They're able to see what they can work with and what they can't work with. So it's it's going to be really cool to see. And before I get out of here, because I don't want this to be a long episode, let's talk about Georgia Southern. What if they produce double-digit wins? I mean, you got to understand, from a 3-9 and nine season to possibly 10 or more, I got them winning eight games. But if they go and get double-digit wins, and depends on how many losses they have at the time, you know, the college playoff, not, I didn't say playoff, but January 6th bowls is going to be looking really, really interesting at that point. Because I don't know, you know, anything about the college, you know, uh, uh, playoffs, or whatever the case may be, because I know we, we're not even close to that. But if we can go like 11-1 and one, or hell, maybe in some cases if we go undefeated, do we get a sniff of the playoff? I, I mean, I doubt it because we're a group of five and we're not Cincinnati, but it's just something to think about. Um, also, uh, what does that mean for Statesboro? Look, we, the more wins we get, the more recruits are going to come. And we already talked about the recruits and how well the recruits are coming in so far. I mean, we're getting talent you know, all over, and it's a beautiful thing that the Eagles are actually you know, able to spread that, you know, that reach to get talent here. So, and all it does is if we do it, you know, we get double digit wins here for the Eagles. I mean, it's going to be really, 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 uh, it's going to be a really big deal for South Georgia because, you know, that other team up there in Athens, the you know, the Bulldogs, they're, you know, locked, almost locked every year to win at least nine to 10 games. And, you know, they won a national championship just recently. But even before then, I remember even the Mark Rick days and stuff. I mean, even probably before that, it was a, it was almost like mandatory that you had to have a, you know, a high win uh, percentage or be in the, you know, win column. So that, that that's pretty much going to be a really big deal if both of these teams could obtain that. Now, you also have to understand, what does that do for the state of Georgia? Man, I will tell you this. The state of Georgia will be on fire. If we turn around and find out the Falcons – Double digit wins, Georgia Southern double digit wins. You still got a football team up there in uh, you know, Midtown, the the Georgia State Panthers. You know, they can do something. Like I said, the Bulldogs is already a lock for pretty much. The whole state of Georgia will be on fire. Absolutely on fire. I mean, it it'd be really amazing to see, you know, the pandemonium. You know, it, it it's just gonna be really, really fun to see if any of this happened even if one of the teams get you know double digit wins you know it's just going to be exciting especially for either one of these teams because it's a bounce back moment for both even with you know Arthur Smith first year is a bounce back moment for him too uh so it's going to be really really exciting just to see football back I mean at the end of the day it's just going to be really exciting just to see football back and if these guys can produce at a high level where they can Ring round up some wins and get this thing rocking and rolling to where these guys could also, um, you know, make some noise in the postseason. And I don't know, you know, like I said, I don't know how that'll work, but if that if that happens, man, that will be extremely exciting. You know, I don't too much care for the Bulldogs like that. I don't care for Kennesaw State, and I know they have some really good talent. But we're trying to be the second best you know, football team in the state. I mean, we're not going to catch the Georgia Bulldogs, and I still don't believe Georgia Tech is the the second best team. But when you're looking at what we have at Georgia Southern and what we're trying to accomplish, it's something just really, really special. So um, all these other teams, you know, it would love to see all of them flourish and be on fire and, 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 and be, uh, you know, highly successful all at the same time because down here in Georgia, football is king. It's always been that way. And I think it always will be that way. But when when you're looking at the 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 level of competition and it, you know, you have to scrap the B, you know, the the you know, just in 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 house fighting, you want to be the big dog or you want to be the big, you know, school. And like I said, I think Georgia is is a little bit, you know, far away from us. I mean, there's, there's no denying that. But at the same time, I feel like we can be number two. I really feel that. So in the college realm, if we win double, you know, we win double digit win, we have double digit wins. Man, I think we're going to be really good to go when it when when it comes for other teams to look at us, because you know Georgia, like I said, they're the ones. But for us to do that, that'd be great for for our program and the state of Georgia. 
and with the Falcons, I mean, them guys, you know, they they weren't. Y'all gotta understand, the Falcons wasn't that close. That wasn't that far from being, you know, having ten wins. You look at some of the losses that they had, and it's like, oh, okay, a few things go here and there. We could be talking about ten to seven instead of seven to ten. Ne- nevertheless, I still think it was a successful season after losing your receivers or whatever the case may be. But they made it happen, and Coach uh, Smith is really, really interesting when it comes to his philosophy and stuff and what he's wanting to do with this team. You know, I looked at a few things. I heard a few things, and, you know, I always just sit back and watch. But I think what they're trying to implement is going to be really good. And, and I follow Georgia Southern more than any other, you know, team, uh, even more than the Falcons on the show. I really think Georgia Southern is going to be have some really, really special guys to, to step up and make things happen. You know, I would like to see it mostly on defense because defense won championships. But uh, it's just going to be yet to be seen. It's going to be yet to be seen for that. So, And I also feel like if it's going to be a big defensive effort, that's going to help tremendously if they can produce double-digit wins. As far as the Falcons go, I think the Falcons just need to continue to do what they do. You know, they're on the right track to just win football games. I'm not sure if they're going to, you know, eclipse the double digits, but I think it's going to be a really good uh, really good look if they can do it. You know, um, so at the end of the day, football in Georgia is what it is, one of the most prominent sports, if not the, mo- the, the most prominent sports in the state of Georgia. I mean, we love football down here. It is what it is. It's what we do. And uh, uh, I can't wait to see how the season starts. I didn't have much to talk about today, but I wanted to ask that question, what if both of these teams get double-digit wins? I think that would be really, really exciting. Like I said, that will be at the minimum three. Three teams in state with double-digit, you know, wins. Georgia, you know, Atlanta, and Georgia Southern. Man, I don't think that ever happened before. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll look that up. Maybe you guys look up and let me know. Uh, if this, uh, if you like this commentary, hit the like button. Share this commentary. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Just wanted to put out a hypothetical question out there and just you know give my thoughts and feedback because I think it'll be pretty neat. But nevertheless, we can always just dream and think of one day at a time and watch these guys come in and actually be uh, better you know players by practicing and see if that translates to anything on the field. Um, like I said, I could be found on Anchor, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts. Leave me a five-star rating and give me some feedback if I haven't done a good job. Uh, episode 390, 10 episodes away. And like I said, I didn't have much to talk about today, so I just put that out there. And hopefully, y'all will be back for Friday. I may have something a little special to talk about on Friday. We'll see. Uh, we we'll just keep you posted. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Y'all take it easy. Enjoy your Thursday. And y'all be blessed. Peace.